This is Richard back at you. We got Alan all the way from Kansas. That's a long ways, guys. We did uh, one of 03 GMC pickup. They trailered it all the way up here uh, to get uh, us to fix it. We went back, we we're really excited. But uh, it has no second gear. So we're gonna hook the scanner to it and go drive it and see if the scanner commands the second gear shift. If it does, uh, then that means, to, to me personally, it has no cylinder codes and anything like that. It just doesn't have a mass airflow sensor code, which is probably what took the tranny out. But I want to make sure that the command is given by the computer. I can see it in my scanner. Uh, that way I know it's just physically, been, computer physically, you know, can tell it to do. So, kind of new at this again. We've got a new place going, so it's going to be a little bit uh, new to me again, even though I've been doing uh, 500 something days. But anyway, we've got our uh, snap-on scanner here. We've got it turned on. We're going to go to, to GMC. Make a selection. Uh-oh, what have we got here? Is that different? That's different for me. Automatic ID. Okay, let's hook this up real quick. We want you to turn the key on. Then we're going to come in here. We're going to click automatic ID. So what we got here is a 2003 GMC Sheriff four-wheel drive pickup using the van number and all that type of stuff. We're going to push OK. Okay, we're going to, since it does have a transfer case uh, problem, we're going to go down to the transfer case first. If I can find it, there it is, transfer case. We're going to see what we got going on here. Okay, we got codes. Let's go to history codes. There it is. Active transfer case mode switch fault. Which 90% of the time is this switch right here. You can change that when it has that code in it. Let's back up. Let's see if there's any current codes. No current codes at all, so the codes haven't been cleared since uh, this has been happening. Back up a little bit farther. Back up farther. Now we'll come back and uh, erase the codes and stuff when we change the switch. So right now we're going to go back up here to... Let it go. That's okay. We did that. Uh, we missed it. What are you looking for? <clears throat> I'm looking for the main. Yeah. Back up one more. This change on me since you did the different. You possibly could since I updated it. It does not have a gas pedal cable, so without throttle cable, it's, it's throttled by wire. Uh, let's go to transmissions first, because that's what he's in here for. Codes, display codes, history codes, just mass airflow, which I figured we'd probably find that there. Go back up, back up, back up. Go to engines to see if there's something there. History code again, mass airflow is going to be there. All powertrain code, mass airflow. Now, you notice when I uh, do engine and transmission stuff like that, there's physically no transfer case codes. Okay, you have to go there to get uh, transfer case codes. Uh, we'll clear all these codes after we get the training rebuilt because I know that the bands uh, physically burn up. But, uh, powertrain code. Okay. Let's go to data. We can see all the vehicle speed. We can do everything. So right now we got our gear commands. That's what we're gonna go drive it real quick and see what this physically does. You wanna go around the block with me, Teresa? Sure. Come on. Here. Now, when I started the truck, the command went all the way back to first gear, okay? When we put in reverse, the command's gonna stay first. We're just gonna back up. Okay, right, we're gonna get out of here. Go to the street real quick. I don't want this video to get really long, so we're just gonna show you real quick. Go. 
Now this vehicle will not shift until, uh, watch this, it'll go, it'll ask for second gear, but it won't be home. See second gear, it didn't, it never shifted. It's gonna, when it shifts to third, when it commands it, it's gonna go ahead and shift to third. I'm gonna back, get up here, a little RPM, back off the gas, third gear, there's third gear. Your band is only for second and fourth gear, so if we drive it up a little farther, which I don't want to do it in where I live out out here, so that tells me there that there's no second gear in this vehicle. Uh, possible cause of the mass airflow sensor, something like that, but there's nobody home right now. It will not shift. It's like it's in neutral when I let off the gas. Go to third, I got a gear now. So your three, four clutch comes on. Uh, if the overdrive band if the second and fourth gear band come back on once it made the third gear shift, sometimes the pin travel for the band uh, is a little bit longer when the overdrive piston pushes the band on and it'll grab overdrive that way when the band's just barely burned up, but it will not grab second. So here it is guys, pretty neat. No second, no second. Gonna back off the gas a little bit, let it go ahead and go to third, goes to third, here we go. I could probably go a little bit faster, but the speed on, speed on or the speed limit's only probably about 30 mile an hour out here, so I don't want to do that. But like I said, it will not shift a second. Back off, goes a third with no problem. Oops. Give it any gas at all, it just goes back to neutral. Just a little fourth. Yep, it went to fourth. So you've seen that, right? Yes, I saw that. So. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes the pin travel is longer when it goes to fourth gear and it'll bring the band on anyway. But the pin travel from your uh, servo uh, to bring your band on for second doesn't travel as far. And that's why you don't have no second gear, but then you, yet you have fourth. So but anyway, guys, stay tuned. Uh, we got a lot more videos to come on this one truck here. Do a little bit taking it out and we're definitely gonna tear it down and, and build it over here on the bench. So stay tuned.